Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving cellular reproduction. This video will provide an overview of mitosis, the asexual means by which human cells divide. The picture on the bottom of the slide exhibits mitosis. The four different stages of mitosis, as well as important events that occur during them, will be the emphasis of this video. Mitosis is the asexual means by which somatic cells reproduce in humans. The primary function of this process is to evenly divide up all the chromosomes within the nucleus so that each daughter cell will have all of the genetic code necessary for its survival, all of the genetic information that the original cell possessed. While humans as a whole don't reproduce this way, new cells in your body are created through this process after you have sustained an injury or as you replace different structures such as hair or the lining of your GI tract. While you may think of mitosis as the division of the cell, it is only in fact the division of the nucleus of the cell. This process is quite complex, consisting of many important events divided into four major steps. These major steps, as shown on the right, will be elaborated on for the rest of this video. The first phase of mitosis is entitled prophase. Prophase helps prepare DNA in the cell to divide equally. Two important things occur during this phase. First, DNA condenses from chromatin into chromosomes. Second, the nuclear envelope starts to dissolve. After the nuclear envelope dissolves and DNA is tightly wrapped into chromosomes during prophase, the next phase, metaphase, can occur. During metaphase, spindle fibers attach to both the centrosomes and to the chromosomes. This causes all the chromosomes to form one line along the center of the cell, as the spindle fibers, the centrosomes, and the chromosomes are all pulled very tightly. What happens after metaphase is that the spindle fibers pull on the chromosomes until individual chromatid are pulled apart from one another towards the centrosomes. This phase of mitosis is referred to as anaphase. During the final phase of mitosis, telophase, which occurs after anaphase, chromatid gather towards the centrosomes and a nuclear envelope reforms. At the end of this process, the cell is still diploid. Even though half of the genetic material ends up in each of the newly formed cells, all of the information is still there. Since each of the chromatid in a chromosome contains the exact same information, no genetic material is lost. Immediately after the division of the nucleus ends, the division of the rest of the cell occurs in a process called cytokinesis. This name is appropriate because the prefix cyto refers to the cytoplasm, which is everything in the cell other than the nucleus, and kinesis means movement or activity. Cytokinesis is the movement or activity that divides all of the cell except for the nucleus. Note that cytokinesis is not part of mitosis, but it occurs very closely to the events of mitosis, so it was included here. That is the end of this video describing mitosis. If you are interested in learning about any other topics relating to cell reproduction or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.